there, girl. Yeah, hold still, girl. Evening, mister. Been a while. Guess you've been keeping in good health, huh? Have a look. Same price there as on the shelves. Okay. Evening, friend. How you holding up? Thanks. Thank you, Doc. Bye now. Well, you'd be happy to know Benedict Albright was cursing you till his last. Hey, easy! Who do we have here? That's a fine Steve. Got some stable space for rent if you're interested. You're gonna want a saddle that fits for you and the horse. It's well worth the price.
That's the same one I use, too. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. I've bred, handled, cared for, and trained more horses than anyone else in the state. You ask around. No harm in Gussie and your horse up. This horse will pass for nobility when I'm through. By quality, keep it simple. You won't go wrong. Yeah, that'll go real well with the saddle. Solid choice there. There you are. There. Well, shit. I mean, I, I hear a white fella and a young Negro caused all manner of hell over at Smithfield Saloon. That's what they say. Welcome back. No, oh, it's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. You all right, girl? Hello, mister. Shit!
You pay up, or we keep up. It'll cost Don't you a penny to get Move out along. of this, friend. Please. You borrow from the O'Driscoll boys, you pay the O'Driscoll boys. I made it right with you, I swear. Well, then. Looks like you need a lesson. Uh. Oh, Driscoll! Oh, sweet Jesus! <laughs> Slow it up. Yeah.
Easy. So up now. Whoa! Okay, girl. 
Easy there. Come on, girl. Yep. I know, girl, just give me a second. Fine hall there. Okay, my girl. You got some space there. Could you move? An interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Partner. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter.
played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. I'll settle down one of these days. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. Receive the barn in the back. Stage coach has to be in there. We can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house.
Stay hidden, Arthur. Let's get the stagecoach. We need to leave now. Come on, let's get out of here before the law shows up. Yep. Shit, there's a man coming. Just play it cool. He might not know the situation here. I think we should be okay now. We're far enough away. You're gonna crash if you don't slow down. We could have done this without killing anyone. It worked out. We got everything we needed. That's not the point. It might not have... What if there were more people around we didn't know about? We could deal with them, too. All right. Fine, it's done now. Let's just get back to Emerald Ranch and turn this in. Yeah. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. Hey, slow it down. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. How long do you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Mind your own. I don't need your trouble. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. John was looking for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. He was? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Forgive me, Miss Grimshaw. Don't me, you repulsive little maggot. I love you, too. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Always. Evening. 
I'm frightened, Jose. Real frightened. Of what? Pinkerton bounty hunters. All field. We've been in a bad situation before, but like my whole life in one life. Bad situation. You busy, Arthur? Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border? Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train? Pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. What is in this? There's a spot here for you, Arthur. Evening, Arthur. Mr. Summers. Hey. Oh, hi, Coach. 